New tonight, a firefighter in Napa who hit and killed a college student while rushing to a fire won't face any criminal charges. Prosecutors just had their final attempt thrown out. Yeah, the Vacaville woman's family says the big rig was going too fast to avoid the wreck. And for the first time, the firefighter behind that wheel is talking about what happened. Our investigative reporter Jackson Vanderbecken has the story you'll see only on NBC Bay Area. She is with me. She's a life in my heart, and I'm going to continue doing this forever. For the last three years, Elsa Espinosa has visited her daughter's gravesite in Napa, not far from where the 22-year-old Vanessa was fatally injured one morning in June of 2020. She was on her way from Vacaville to meet up with her boyfriend near Napa Valley College, where she was an honor student studying communications. Everywhere she goes, she was, she was the delight. Everybody would love to be around her. It was on this stretch of Highway 221 in Napa where Vanessa Espinosa was waiting to make a left turn at that light. She got the green arrow and started to turn when a CAL FIRE rig responding to a brush fire in Contra Costa County ran the red light and broadsided her, according to the findings of the CHP investigation. Right before the telephone was where they came to arrest from this, from this spot. That's how fast he was going. He pushed her vehicle about another 50, 50 feet down the, down the road. Pete Martinez, Vanessa's stepfather, says what's so heartbreaking is that investigators found Vanessa would have survived if the rig's driver had followed CAL FIRE's policy to slow to five miles an hour when running a red light. Do I believe that firefighters are heroes? They may be heroes, but they're humans, and they make mistakes, and they have to be accountable for these mistakes. This mistake to take somebody's life, my daughter, he needs to be accountable for that. Probably the worst day of my life. It haunts me still to this day. Captain Jake White is the two-decade CAL FIRE veteran who was driving the rig. Uh, responding like I would to any other call. Code 3, lights and sirens, uh, responding in a timely fashion to the emergency. As he approached the intersection, White told CHP investigators he made eye contact with Espinosa from about 100 yards away. He told us he couldn't actually see her eyes, but saw her look up at his rig seconds before impact, then look down. I assumed that I was more than visible in the fire engine, displaying lights and sirens. GPS data later showed the rig was going 45 to 56 miles an hour at impact, and Napa prosecutors filed felony vehicular manslaughter charges against White. They say White was driving recklessly, without due regard for safety, especially since he was heading to a fire some 40 minutes away in Clayton and violated CAL FIRE's policy to slow down at red lights. It's a recommendation as to safe behavior. It's not law and it doesn't constitute negligence. White's attorney, Amanda Bevan, says the distance of the fire is legally irrelevant. She says the courts have long granted wide leadway to first responders, and the law requires other drivers to yield to lights and sirens. Nonetheless, one judge ordered White to stand trial, but then a second judge looked at the same evidence and threw out the case. Elsa Espinosa says prosecutors have given up on an appeal, but through all the setbacks, she finds sanctuary at her daughter's gravesite. Nobody has ever said, sorry for your loss. Day one, the first thing I wanted to do was apologize. But White says attorneys told him not to speak with the grieving family, you know even as he sat near them in court, where they're suing Cal Fire for wrongful death. You know, I'm, I'm sitting feet away from this mother. And God, I would love more than anything to give her a hug and let her know how sad and sorry and have the empathy for her position. Of course. But in the legal world, I'm told to halt the emotion and go status quo and let the legal system proceed. It's uncomfortable. I don't like that. Last year, White said he broke down and sought treatment. You know, I, I didn't want to be alive, to be completely honest. And I struggle with that to this day. It's, it's hard. He says Cal Fire has never punished him for the crash. I was not given any administrative or progressive discipline, no. In fact, he's currently awaiting official promotion to battalion chief. I was not disciplined, and I'm able to interview for positions that I'm qualified for, uh, and I'm doing just that.
And although he's no longer facing criminal charges, Elsa Espinosa says promoting white sends the wrong message. What are you teaching the employees is that it's okay to mess up, take somebody else's life, and you're going to be nothing, not, e not even slap in the hand, nothing. Cal Fire had no comment on the crash or White's promotion, but Espinosa says she's not giving up on holding someone accountable. You might not see tears right now, you know. I have, I have my moments, I have my times. Every Sunday I go to her garden and fix that and cry out to her and to cry out to God for justice for my daughter. You know, I say at 4110, don't be afraid for I am with you. Jackson Vanderbecken, NBC, Bay Area News.